Hi friends, today we are taking you beach camping with us in Long Beach, Washington. We arrived last night at about 9.30 p.m. Luckily it's summer so sunset is really late, but we were rushing to put up the tent before it got really dark. And I think sunset was about almost 10 o'clock, so it was about dusk when we arrived. Regardless, we didn't film anything last night because we were just, you know, rushed to do everything and the kids were just a little bit angry at that time. Now that it's morning, the toddler's having pandan pancakes made with some hidden veggies. Comment below if you want to see how I make these. He's also having some peanut butter, blueberries, and applesauce. I made these at home and just had to warm them up. Just down this path is a five minute walk to the beach, so let's go. So beautiful! Huh. What do you think, Bud Bud? Your sister loves it. The beach. Sorry, can we say the beach? <laughs> That's cool. You can flip it over. What? There you go. This is the whole body of the crab, the entire body of the crab, sweetie. Ooh. Yeah, you hold it like this. It's got its legs, it's got its pinchers, mm -hmm. the eyeballs, the little feelers for its mouth. You see the, the shell? The shell is a skeleton. So some animals have the skeleton on the inside. That's like you, me, Dookie, Daddy. But these are exoskeleton animals, so they have the skeleton on the outside, and that's the shell. Where is the mouth? The mouth is right here. Is it up? Yeah, it opens up right here. Why do you need to eat? It's a filter feeder, so it filters out the water and it gets whatever it can. And yep, you're eating your pancake. Can I eat a Oh, there, oh yeah, there looks like it is dead, so. Here, it looks like the animal ate up um, all the other stuff. So these are the gills. Here's the gills, and then all the food used to be all here, which is all the meat. It's gone. It's gone. So I think some animal ate it a little bit, maybe one of the birds. Well, it didn't really do a good job, and then left it. Or it just died. Or it just died. We bring a small floor party on any trip that we take and camping is no exception. During the day, we keep it outside of the tent in plain sight and we do move it around throughout the day. Then of course, we clean it and keep it inside the tent during the night for pee pee before bedtime and sometimes the kids need to use potty in the middle of the night. So the drive out here took three and a half hours and we had zero accidents. We actually made a stop for dinner and had everyone use the potty at the restaurant. Then we had to stop once more for the toddler because she needed a pee. And at the same time, I offered potty to Bud Bud, the baby, at the same time. Right now, Bud Bud is in a disposable diaper um, at bedtime. I put him in a disposable diaper at night, but he will be in undies throughout the day. So comment below if you want me to talk about nighttime pottying. We have done that as well. Our campsite is all the way at the end, but I will show you some of the awesome facilities here. There's a flush toilet in this building with an outdoor shower and outdoor sink, as you can see. And then at the entrance, there's this clubhouse. And this clubhouse is open um, day and night, and it has Wi-Fi. Um, there's also some books here. Let me just show you. But there's a bunch of books, um, grown-up books and kids' books. And then there's like, this one's cute. Let's read it to them. And then there's also like this chalkboard, drawing board, some kids items, board games around the corner. This is just some decor. Uh, we're staying at the lamp camp. And then around the corner, there are two bathrooms with two showers each and they're warm showers. This is all at no cost. And here's the bathroom. Look at the flush toilet and toilet paper, soap, and then there's a shower and this is all included at no cost which is like super important when it comes to camping in the United States that's not always there there's also like an outdoor barbecue communal set and more big old sinks
well. Baby poop in the potty and then rinsing it out with some soap here and hot water. I'll make sure this is nice and clean, but I'll show you the bathroom. It's that little building. Look, it's got a full toilet. This is the hay. Mirror, a bench. Let's go. Sorry, bud. You can go swim some later. Just wearing shorts and he's got no undies on. Just his butt. And he'll tell us when he needs to go. Beach tents there. Matthew relaxing and laying down. There's a bucket here. It's our northern child. Gonna dig. No, you need to wait before it digs up. Oh, mom. Oh, another one. Yeah, I know. Huh? You want to put it in your hand? It's a time. I want this one. Wow, well, I'm cute. Okay? It's gonna do it. No, don't get it. It's gonna dig us though. Oh, we need to get this one. Your tomato soup is all over the place, Theo. Oh. Look at your tomato soup. What happened to it? Last one in the world. <laughs> That's because. <laughs> Tiny hug. Theo, I swear we're. Did I just wash you? <laughs> yeah. Smoky. <laughs> yeah, the wood is a little sappy. Yeah. You're happy little campers. Yeah, the sleeve. We are back home and these kids did so well on the drive back. They are enjoying a nice ice cream treat right now. It's a nice warm summer day. But Bud did end up pooping in the car seat. Totally not his fault. He told us he needed to go potty, but we didn't stop. We were literally five minutes away from home, so we didn't stop. So it's not his fault. He ended up finishing up in the potty. Don't miss our camping trip on a working farm in this video where we stayed among the animals. There were goats all over our campsite. I'll see you in that video, and thank you so much for watching the Kachuk Family YouTube channel. Love you guys. See you in that video. Bye!